But Matt, I don't see it. I don't see it. I see. Keep going. Keep making calls. Do, keep doing recruiting emails. Keep following. Keep following. Matt, I don't see it. I don't see it. I'm about to quit. No, no, no. Keep going. Keep going. It's right there. You don't see it. It's around the corner. You're being blind right now. It's around the corner. Keep going. Keep showing up. Keep showing up. And then boom. <gasps> I'd like to thank the Lord. I'd like to thank my mama. I'd like to thank my coaches. Heck yeah, man. That's it, man. That's it. Never short stopping, now I'm winning like I'm Jida. Steady through the rigor. Yeah, I'm getting bigger. Was fighting in them trenches, now I'm making seven figures like. Don't you do it! I dare you, don't you do it. What am I talking about? As much as there's a lot of conversations about winning, an equal and if not more important conversation should also be about quitting. I dare you. If you give me 20 minutes by watching this video, if you still feel like quitting, please unsubscribe from my YouTube channel and drop me a comment that I, Money Smart Guy of the Seven Figure Squad, have failed you. But if this video gave you a little bit more inspiration to help you keep going, Please not only subscribe, but share this video and drop me a comment below that says, I'm not quitting. Deal? Okay. Deal. Well, in this live video train that you're about to watch, I'm going to give you a few reasons why people quit and why you shouldn't, especially after you hear points three and four. Let's not waste any time. Let's check this out. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Well, since I'm in a quitting stage, I want to quit number eight. That's actually seven points. <laughs> okay. I got, I got. Number one. The reason why people quit? Because it's easy. Yeah, it's easy to quit. Uh, one of my newest directs. Remember the, remember the guy that uh, uh, walked up to me at the gas station and said, what, what do you do to for a living to drive around a Rolls yeah, Royce? Yeah. He just sent me, he sent me my time. I can't make it to the trainer today because I got this going on, this going on, this going on. But I'll be there on the fifth, though. I said, brother. Uh, two weeks in our can is like two months. If you want a guy like me to help you out, uh, accomplish the things that you set out to do, that you told me that number what was the first phase, your visionary phase that you said you wanted to do, you quit on the first one, which is just showing up, right? So, so, so number one, yeah, it's easy to quit. It's easy to quit. And by the way, if this was easy, everybody would make a million bucks. If this was easy, everybody would make another thousand dollars. Now, with that being said, it is also simple. This isn't easy, but it is what? Simple. 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 And by the way, many of you, without understanding it, you, were, you walked into a family curse without you even knowing it. Okay? Curse of lateness, the curse of excuses, the curse of procrastination. You guys walked into a family curse without you even realizing it. But here's the cool part. Once you are aware of it, guess what you can do? You can break that curse. Right? You can break that, you can break that bad boy. Okay? It's up to you. You can say, you know what? Hey, this is the line. From here going forward, okay. our family last name, my, our lay my la uh, back of our jerseys is going to be changed because of the next steps I have moving forward. That's right. But that's not easy, but it is simple. Yeah. Number two. <laughs> You're going to like this one. Uh, the reason why people quit is because they believed they never could do it to begin with. Mm -hmm. You know what? Yeah, I quit. Yeah, I was, I was never. Have you got that excuse? Yeah, I was never going to make $100,000 anyway. Yeah, I was never going to be debt-free anyway. Yeah, I was never going to be financially independent anyway. Yeah, you know, I was not going to drive all the way out to Oak Brook. I'd rather just do this on Zoom because it's easier. I really wasn't going to put in the effort anyway. Call it, call it out, call it out. And I'm not saying this to anybody on Zoom that's from outside of the Chicagoland area. If you're, if you're a Zoom baby and you don't have access to a local office 50 miles away from your residence, then I totally, I totally empathize with you. You're a Zoom baby. But right now, guys, listen. Did our lives get shut down last year because of the pandemic? No. You know, uh, did, did, I mean, Hollywood stopped production, right? But they didn't stop producing. How, how, many, how, many, how many movies do you saw were released in 2020? You're like, wait a minute. <laughs> You're like, when was this released? 20, weren't you locked down? Like, <clears throat> did the NFL, did, even though schools, it was uncomfortable, <laughs> schools sit, did, you know, still did some form of 
adjusted schooling and testing. What about the NFL draft? Did the NFL still draft players last year? Yeah. Did NBA still draft players last year? Yeah. Did the billion dollar corporations find somehow some way to survive? Because yeah. in their minds, they weren't going to quit. And the best of the best, regardless of the circumstances, they don't quit. But if you do, yeah, well, the, pan the pandemic gave a lot of people a reason to quit anyway. Yes, did. did we see that last year? Oh, yeah. A lot of the guys that were here in Oprah this time last year are no longer here. Why? Because the pandemic gave them a reason to quit. Because in their mind, they weren't going to do this anyway. Here's the flip side to that. It also attracted people yeah. to yeah. PHP that said, you know what? Screw my job. Da, 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 da. I'm, I, you told me I'm essential. I'm essential. <laughs> you told me not essential. I'm essential. I'm important. You are. You just need a platform and an industry that's going to willing to allow you to express that and earn income to reflect that. Number three, on quitting. Others are glad you quit. Thank God, Johanna, you quit. Thank God, your Pantoja, you quit. Alex, thank God you quit. Why? Because, man, every time you walk into a room, you put so much pressure on us. Every time you walk into the room, you reminded me I need to save more money. <laughs> Every time you walk into the room, you reminded me without you telling me to not charge all this money up on my credit cards. Every time you walk into the room without you saying anything, you were just, you know, you're getting your plate at the barbecue or at the wedding. You reminded me that I need to go in business for myself, and I was too scared to do it. So I'm glad you quit because you proved to me that I don't need to do it because you quit. Okay. Woo! Welcome down with the rest of us. Here's your chair. We reserved it for you because we knew you were going to quit anyway. <laughs> grab your drink. Grab your drink. We know what drink you like. <laughs> Thank God you quit so that I don't have to start saving money because I was about to start saving money. <laughs> Thank God you quit because, you know, I was, I was about to file my next uh, unemployment claim because I want to be more dependent on church charity and the government. But since you quit, I'm filling it back out again. Because I, I you, Thank God you quit because I always thought there was hope. You proved me there's none. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Ah! You proved to me. You proved to me that all the things you said on stage by declaring intentions and changing our family last name. You proved me that our family ain't shit anyway. Yeah. Thank God you quit, because it was going to force me to do something about my last name because we share the same last name. Right. Woo. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, man! Yeah, digging deep, digging deep. <laughs> He's like, he's not sure how to translate that. And boy's like, Okay, number five. Four. Four. <laughs> Correct, number four. <laughs> Consequences of quitting is you'll never know what could have been. You never know what could have been. You know? Yo, you could have been debt free. You could have been traveling the world with us. You could have been taking care of mom and dad. You could have been rising financially above the next pandemic. But we'll never know. Why? Because you quit. Guys, as many people have quit on me, which to me is a form of firing me. I don't like when people, I, by the way, I got fired the other day by a name that many of you would know. Because two years ago, boom, he was the poster child of MSM. Mm -hmm. Okay? I got fired. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but then I found out, and him and many other people that quit on me, you know what I found out? <clears throat> they never really wanted to build people. Yeah. They, ne they never really wanted to invest time into pushing people up. Right? Uh, it, it's, it's, by the way, it's, it's uncomfortable because yeah. when you walk into a room, sometimes people's uh, dogma is I walk into a room, I'm the man. Yeah. Yeah. Right? I'm the smartest guy. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody's, I'm the best in the world. Yeah. Guys, we don't care to be the best in the world. Right. We just want an army to take over the world. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's all we want. I don't care to be the best. Matter of fact, the best in the world, they work for us. And they work with us. Right. The best in the world work and align together with us. Yeah. We recruit the best in the world to work together with us, not for us, but with us. Yes? Yeah. But the people that quit, they say, you know what? People are just, you know, just dealing with people's problems just 
to, to above me, or I'm sorry, to below me. If helping people is below you, then leadership is beyond you. The, the, this, this whole thing about what you and I do on a daily basis is to assist and help people. Like I want to see faces on, on a wall. Okay, I, remember, I, I remember when th- those faces were trainees. Like some, ra- Raise your hands, you're a trainee, trainee associate. Raise your hand if you're a tra- If you don't know what that is, you're a trainee and associate. I guess. <laughs> what am I? Trainee? No, no, bro. You, you know, you know, you. I, like, I'll remember many of your faces, and I hope I get to know more about your names because I get to work with you a little bit more closely on MDB and, and different leadership calls. But you'll never know what this could have done for you if you quit. Now, I can look at, at so many people that quit. I'm like, wow, that territory could have been dominated by that person. Everything in the territory could have gone through that person's code number, yeah. but they quit. Yeah. Huh? I guess somebody else wants it. Yeah. I'll give you a quick story. Remember that RV tour we did? Yeah. A couple years, uh, three years ago? It was vote 1099, right? Yeah. It was during the 2016 <laughs> election. People were voting for presidential candidate. We were voting for people to vote for themselves to go in business for themselves. And the size of the bus was all the, all the face of the speakers, right? So our, our, we had a flat tire in California. So we go to a, a place, uh, it was a Just Tires uh, spot, and the guy fill, is filling up, and he's looking at, whoa, whoa, whoa. He says, what's that? Is that George Palayo? Wow. He says, yeah, it's George Palayo. He says, yeah, uh, he recruited me a few years ago. Oh, what? <laughs> and he quit. Now he's still filling tires. <laughs> it wasn't just do it, it's just tires. <laughs> So, so, so uh, the next one, next one, number five, now, are number, number five now? Yes. The consequences are higher when you quit. Consequences are higher. What, what am I talking about? The consequences are higher because when you decide to quit, everything that you just put into the business to learn, finances, you went to big events, guess what, guess what your turn inve- that investment is? Zero. Why? Do you think you transfer these skills to something else? No. You know why? Because I'll, I'll fast forward to number six. Because you just established a habit of quitting. Just like winning is a habit, so is quitting. And guess what happens when you have established a habit? The next time something happens again, you quit on that. You got quitter's blood. Versus you having champion's blood, winner's blood. The consequences are great when you quit because your kids watch you. They don't listen to you. Your kids watch you. Oh, what did mommy and papi do in time? They quit. Okay, maybe I need to quit too. Because I need to protect myself. You know, going after your dreams isn't all what's cracked up to be. I mean, I, I need to quit too. See, see I'm talking about the consequences of quitting. And you, you don't realize who's watching you. You know, I, I remember this uh, a meme. This guy was doing push-ups. The father wouldn't stop doing push-ups because it's, there's a picture of his son right next to him. His baby son also doing push-ups. So you don't quit because you don't know who's watching you. Yeah. You know, raising five kids in four different decades. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> Guys, I've been having kids since 1995. <laughs> I had a kid in 95, twins in uh, 2001, we had JoJo in 2010, and we just had Jordan in 2019. And based on what Sheena's talking about... <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> hey, babe, I got the easy part. Okay. <laughs> you got the nine months. I'm like, babe, I mean, God, ladies, God bless you. You know, I'm, I'm just looking at the, the baby move in the belly. I'm like, wow. <laughs> you know, that doesn't even compare to the burritos we eat. I'm like, <laughs> see how Colin's moving. <laughs> But to see like a, like a hand just shoot out by the solar plexus, like just trying to wave and say hi like this. <laughs> I'm just amazed. I'm like, wow. How do you deal with that? And in the middle of the night, baby's moving around. How do you deal with that? You know, holy moly. And then, and then this is the inside. And then, <laughs> and then the birth. Oh, forget about the birth. <laughs> Guys, five kids. I have not, I've been there. I've been there in the birthing room. I've just not seen the birth. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to stand right here. 
Okay. Babe, hi. Babe, hi. Whoa. Uh-uh. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> but I, I would say this, though. These, these kids will watch you. Your family is watching. And by the way, guess who's also watching you? The people that quit on you. They're still watching you. Right? Yes. Like, yes. Let me see. I quit. I can't wait for them to quit three months later. Yeah. And then, and then, like, Dan, Dan, they're still going. <laughs> shit. Dan, they just got their ring. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh Dan, they just got promoted to MD. Yeah. Oh shit. They will quit just to see. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me let me call them back up again. Hey, I always thought you'd make it. You're 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 the gem, right? <laughs> Uh, listen, I've been rethinking this. Okay, okay. Rethinking. What were we thinking about? Quitting? Listen, quitting is a habit. You just don't, you just don't develop that overnight. Same thing too with winning. That's it. So what have you done since quitting that transfused your blood from quitter's blood to winner's blood? Because if, even if I allow you to come back again, so what? You're still going to be a quitter if you didn't transfuse or something major didn't change in your life. And by the way, give people grace too. Because maybe there's a, 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 a change in their health, a change in their finances, the family, right. uh, uh, um, something drastic and tragic happened to them, and that transfusion just took place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So give people grace. But, but listen, hear them out. Mm -hmm. Hear them out. But be ready for that conversation. Hustle and grind so hard that your quitters and your haters call you. Okay? Next one. Anything, anything what's the next one? Seven? seven. I do it. Uh, actually, I do have two more. Okay. Uh, seven. Any, anything worthwhile takes time, effort, and sacrifice. Anything worthwhile takes time, energy, and sacrifice. Tim Grover just wrote a book. You guys know who Tim Grover is? Tim Grover is the one who trained Michael Jordan, uh, Kobe Bryant, Dwayne Wade. His, uh, this guy, his first professional client was Michael Jordan. He told Michael, listen, Michael, before you make judgment on what I'm doing for you to be a stronger basketball player, uh, uh, give me 30 days. Give me 30 days. That 30 days turned into 15 years. Okay. And for the first three years, guess what Tim Grover never got from Michael? A dollar. Correct. He never got paid because Michael thought that the Bulls was paying him. And so one day he says, hey, Tim, how, how much are the Bulls paying you for that? All these years. First championship. After all these years, uh, how much is the Bulls paying you? Mike, they haven't paid me nothing. So who's paying you? Mike, I've just been doing this because I want to see you. What? Say, so you haven't gotten paid a dime for the last three years training me? I thought the Bulls were paying you. Go, oh, let me get my checkbook. Boom, writes him a check. Here, here you go. Here's a check. Mike. Oh, come on, Mike. No, no, no. M Mike, I can't take this check. He goes, Tim, I'm not paying you to train me. I'm paying you not to train anybody else. Woo! That's deep. Woo! Some of them gun right there. Time. So t think about Tim Grover right now. Three years of not getting paid. Time, sacrifice, effort and you and I enjoyed indirectly that benefit because we were able to see Michael Jordan do something nobody ever, ever been able to do. Mm -hmm. Correct? So indirectly he's affected you. So he just released a book called Winning. A book you should, I think, I think we're going to be reading it next month for the book of the month. Okay, uh, last but not least. Reasons why you shouldn't quit. <laughs> it's going to surprise you guys. Last but not least is because you're so close. You're so close to breaking through. You're one recruit away from an explosion, one financial sale away from being financially independent. You're so stinking close. But man, I don't see it. I don't see it. I see. Keep going. Keep making calls. Do, keep doing recruiting emails. Keep following. Keep following. Man, I don't see it. I don't see it. I'm about to quit. No, no, no. Keep going. Keep going. It's right there. You don't see it. It's around the corner. You're being blind right now. It's around the corner. Keep going. Keep showing up. Keep showing up. And then boom. <laughs> I'd like to thank the Lord. I'd like to thank my mama. <laughs> Like to thank my coaches? <laughs> Heck yeah, man. That That's it, man. That's it, bro. Guys, I'm telling you this. When, when Sheena and I, every time we had a company trip, we take this picture called Toes in the Sand. Because that is an iconic picture because we just didn't quit. 
and we proved ourselves we're, we're the top of the company to qualify for the company to pay trip, and somebody else paid for it, then now we get to enjoy with our family. I'll tell you this, though. I'll tell you this. Every time we take that picture, it's been an iconic picture for me. It's been a tradition for at MSM. By the way, every time we go on an MSM trip, right? Yes. Hey, one's toes in the sand pit because we're not missing it. They might be doing excursions and all these things and meeting with other uh, leaders within inside the company, but Matt, one's the team picture for toes in the sand. We ain't missing it. This is that kind of picture because that's a reflection and symbolism to say, you know what? We knew we were so close, but we just didn't quit. And now we're celebrating it. And every time we put our toes in the sand, every time we're on the top of a, of a mountain on a, an excursion, we're zip lighting through the jungles of Costa Rica, we're, 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 we're hanging out in the ocean, in the, Carib in the Caribbean. You know, what we're not, you know what we're not thinking about? Those that quit on us. You know what we're not thinking about? The chargebacks. You know what we're not thinking about? The tough times. We actually embrace those. Because it was those tough times. Listen, tough times create strong leaders. Strong leaders create good times. There's a moment where America, your business, your family needs a strong leader to make a tough decision. Never to what? Never to quit. Woo! Now, if you've made it to this part of the video, please mash that like button on this video. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and put in the comments section below, I am not a quitter. So, you're motivated. More importantly, you're inspired. So what's next? Here's a couple videos to match and align that energy and inspiration to help you out financially. Check out this video right here about the industry I got involved in that have made me millions and why I chose the life insurance industry to make my money in. And in this video right here, how millionaires create not only unlimited income, but compounding income if they do it right over the lifetime. So if you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you click like and follow our Facebook page, Money Smart Guy. And if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you click subscribe and hit notifications to be alerted next time we upload our next episode. That being said, guys, I'm your money smart guy, and until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today. Don't quit.